Joseph Yokozuna Fadu, born March 18, 1993, is an American professional wrestler currently signed to WWE, where he performs on the SmackDown brand under the ring name Solo Sokoa as the leader of the bloodline. After Fadu played college football at American River College in Sacramento, he began his professional wrestling career in 2018 under the ring name Sefa Fatu in the independent circuit. He then signed with the WWE in 2021 and was assigned to the NXT brand under the name Solo Sokoa before being called up to the main roster a year later, debuting at Clash at the Castle, joining the Bloodline stable. In the WWE, he held the NXT North American Championship once. As the son of Rikishi and brothers of Jonathan and Joshua, Fatu is a member of the Inoue family of Samoan wrestlers. Early life Fatu was born into the Inoue family of Samoan wrestlers, which includes his father Rikishi, his older brothers Jonathan and Joshua. He is named after his uncle's in-ring name, Yokozuna. He played American football at American River College in Sacramento and Dickinson State University in Dickinson, North Dakota. Professional Wrestling Career Independent Circuit, 2018-2021, on April 29, 2018, Fatu made his in-ring debut under the ring name Sefa Fatu, and regularly teamed up with his cousins Jacob Fatu and Journey Fatu, on January 25, 2019, Fatu would win the FSW Nevada State Championship, holding the belt for 149 days until losing to Hammerstone in June. In August 2019, Fatu defeated Watson to win the Arizona Wrestling Federation AWF heavyweight title, which he held for 418 days until losing it in January 2021, WWE 2021 present NXT 2021 to 2022 on August 30th. 2021, it was announced that Fatu signed a contract with WWE. He was assigned to their development brand NXT, making his debut on October 26 at Halloween Havoc as Solo Sokoa, where he interrupted a segment between the co-hosts Grayson Waller and LA Knight before attacking Waller. Sokoa made his in-ring debut on the November 2nd episode of NXT by defeating Jeet Rama in the latter's last match, on the December 28th episode of NXT. Sokoa entered into a feud with Boa after his alter ego attacked and choked him backstage. On the January 11, 2022 episode of NXT, Boa and Sokoa fought to a double countout. This led to a no disqualification falls count anywhere match on the January 25th episode of NXT, which Sokoa won. Sokoa defeated Roderick Strong on the March 22nd episode of NXT to qualify for a five-way ladder match for the NXT North American Championship at the Stand and Deliver pay-per-view on April 2nd, which was won by Cameron Grimes. On the April 12th episode of NXT, Sokoa failed to win the title from Grimes, as well as in a triple threat match involving Carmelo Hayes at spring breaking on May 3. After weeks of brawling between Sokoa and Von Wagner, they faced off in a Falls Count Anywhere match on. The August 2nd episode of NXT, which Sokoa won, though he suffered a knee injury in the process. The Enforcer of the Bloodline, 2022-2024, Sokoa in 2023 at Clash at the Castle on September 3, 2022, Sokoa returned from injury and interfered in the main event match between his cousin Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, helping Reigns retain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship and aligning himself with the Bloodline, turning heel in the process. He made his main roster in-ring debut against McIntyre on the September 9th episode of SmackDown, losing by disqualification after Karyon Cross attacked McIntyre. On the September 13th episode of NXT 2.0, Sokoa made a surprise appearance and defeated Carmelo Hayes to win the NXT North American Championship. He retained the title three nights later at SmackDown against Madcap Moss but was forced to vacate the title on the September 20th episode of NXT. At Survivor Series, War Games on November 26, Sokoa and the Bloodline defeated the Brawling Brutes, Sheamus, Ridge Holland and Butch, McIntyre and Kevin Owens in a War Games match. Sokoa suffered his first pinfall loss on the main roster against Cody Rhodes the March 27, 2023 episode of Raw, in the main event of WrestleMania 39 on April 2, Sokoa assisted Reigns to retain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Rhodes. On May 6 at Backlash, Sokoa and the Usos defeated Kevin. 
Owens, Sami Zayn, and Matt Riddle in a six man tag team match. At Night of Champions on May 27, Sokoa and Reigns unsuccessfully challenged Owens and Zayn for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. During the match, the Usos interfered and accidentally attacked Sokoa while aiming for Zayn, causing Jimmy Uso to attack Reigns and the Usos walking away from the bloodline. On the June 2nd episode of SmackDown, during Reigns' 1,000 Days as Universal Champion celebration, Sokoa turned on Jimmy and excommunicated him from the bloodline on Reigns' order for his brother's actions. On the June 16th episode of SmackDown, Sokoa's other brother, Jay, turned on Reigns and Sokoa to side with Jimmy. At Money in the Bank on July 1st, Reigns and Sokoa lost to the Usos in a Bloodline Civil War tag team match after Jay pinned Reigns. During the summer, the Bloodline would enter a feud with the returning John Cena and LA Knight, where at Fastlane on October 7th, Sokoa and Jimmy, who had rejoined the stable, lost to them in a tag team match. On the October 20th episode of SmackDown, Cena teased retirement before calling out anyone to face him, leading to Sokoa coming out and brawling with Cena and setting up a match between the two at Crown Jewel. At the event on November 4, Sokoa defeated Cena after nine Samoan spikes. At WrestleMania XL Night 2, Sokoa attempted to assist Reigns against Rhodes again, only to be thwarted by a returning John Cena, who delivered an AA to Sokoa through the announce table. The self-declared Tribal Chief, 2024 present, during the following months in the absence of Roman Reigns, Sokoa was appointed as the de facto leader of the Bloodline, exiled Jimmy Uso, and recruited Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, formerly Camacho, and Jacob Fatu as the new members of the stable, at Backlash. Sokoa teamed up with Tama Tonga to defeat Randy Orton and Kevin Owens with the help of the returning Tonga Loa. In the following weeks, Sokoa kicked out Paul Heyman from the stable and replaced Reigns as the leader and as tribal chief. After beginning a feud with Cody Rhodes at Clash at the Castle, Scotland, Sokoa along with Tama Tonga and Jacob Fadu defeated Rhodes, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens at Money in the Bank in a six-man tag team match with Sokoa pinning Rhodes. On the July 12, 2024 episode of SmackDown, Cody Rhodes and Solo Sokoa set up a match for SummerSlam. At the event on August 3, Sokoa failed to win the title from Rhodes in a Bloodline Rules match after interference from the returning Roman Reigns. Personal life Fatu is married and has two children with his wife Almia Williams. Fatu is the seventh child of nine, with seven brothers and one sister. Championships and Accomplishments Arizona Wrestling Federation AWF Heavyweight Championship, one time. ESPN Best Storyline of the Year, 2022, part of the Bloodline and Sami Zayn, Best Storyline of the Year, 2023, part of the Bloodline 2.0, Future Stars of Wrestling FSW Nevada State Championship, One Time, New York Post Storyline of the Year, 2022, part of the Bloodline and Sami Zayn, Storyline of the Year, 2023, Pro Wrestling Illustrated Faction of the Year, 2022, with the Bloodline ranked number 38 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2023, Wrestling Observer Newsletter Feud of the Year, 2023, as part of the Bloodline vs. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, WWE NXT North. American Championship, one time.